So the website IO9, which is, uh, it's a very cool website, they did something. The seven global apocalypse scenarios that might happen, and we've got a couple for you. We're gonna show you three quick ones and then I'm gonna sum up the rest. So they think one that is likely is a pandemic, and a pandemic disease loves city life and half our population lives in cities. If the disease is virulent enough, humanity could be wiped out in a matter of months. So this is sort of like the movie Contagion, uh, which I really loved. Uh, pandemic crop diseases can be just as virulent as animal diseases because many farmers buy identical strains of staple crops from Monsanto and other corporations. All their crops would be vulnerable to the same infectious diseases. So let's look at two more real quick. Bolide impact. A bolide is a really large chunk of matter from space, often on fire, that can form a large crater when it smashes into a planet. I think the dinosaurs might know something about this. Often geologists will describe the event that wiped out the dinosaurs as a bolide impact. There you go. And one more. Large igneous provinces, a volcano that doesn't explode. Instead, a huge crack opens in the Earth's crust and lava bubbles out, oozing across the landscape, releasing tons of toxic gases and ash. An igneous province can ooze lava for centuries. Over time, that fills the atmosphere with poisons and wrecks the environment. And we've got a couple more, I'm gonna put them on hold. Out of those three, do you have a favorite? Which way do you think oh we're going down? God. Out of those three. Oh I've God. learned you're a real fatalist today, so you must have one of those. I don't know, you well, you know, maybe because you said it first, but pandemic that, to me sounds really viable. Because yeah. I mean, I see these things getting worse and worse and worse, and we're chasing after them with different, uh, um, vaccines and things aren't working. Anymore. I think you want to root for the Im the uh, meteor impact, right? It's the easiest way to go. It's the quickest way to go. The virus seems like maybe it's a possibility, but it's a right. bad way to go. That's right. not it's a terrible. good way. To I'd go. like to go fast. <clears throat> yeah, you want to oh, go fast. Like you want to be actually hit by the meteor, not sure, even wait not for the, the wave to come. I would like to yeah. be shopping and go what? And that, <laughs> yeah. but that's it. At and Walgreens. That's it. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah, yeah. Well, I agree in that sense. Like the pandemic, did you guys see the movie Cant uh, Contagion? I didn't, which but I, I want to see it. Oh. I hear it's really good. It, it was good. great, yeah. but right, that sort of slow creeping death seemed much right. scary. Although, you know, they would know. We'd have a couple weeks probably uh, of knowing that a meteor was going to hit, which can you imagine? All, well, all, we didn't all, know that one in Russia. When that one in Russia came by, we had yeah. no uh, uh, advance warning on that one. But yeah, maybe we'll have a, we can send, what is it, Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck up oh, there to blow terror, it up? Another terror. See maybe, that movie? And maybe only have Ben Affleck come back. <laughs> <laughs> come back! <laughs> Zing. Zing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just another terrible Michael Bay movie. Uh, if you want to know my thoughts on Transformers 4, by the way, I posted a video about that. Uh, now let's look at the other options that they gave us. Options. The other ways we can possibly die. Climate change. Okay, Bryn, I think you're going to have something on this one. Over the next century or more, yeah. changes will wreck our crops faster than a pandemic. <clears throat> Radiation disaster. <clears throat> Uh, atomic war, nearby gamma ray bursts, so I guess this has something to do with the Hulk, or a blast of highly radioactive particles streaming out of an exploding star. Invasive species, moving plants and animals around the planet where they have no natural predators, and black swan, a sudden improbable development that changes everything. You got, you got any favorites of these? These are all scary and they all seem possible. I know the viability of them is horrifying yeah. to me. Well, it climate really change, is. I mean, climate change yeah, is happening. happening. And we're gonna, and you know, we've already seen the effects of, of, of what's happened when people don't have access to clean water and there's, a, or f fresh water. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, some who argue that what's <clears> happening <throat> in Syria is a result of this. And we're gonna see the next wars, of course, be fought over water. Um, I'm on my way next uh, week to Bangladesh, which is, uh, you know, there's millions and millions of people who are under threat of, of, of losing uh, where they live and where are those people going to go if we think that there's an immigration problem now. It's going to be much right. worse when we right. lose a lot of the uh, land that people are on, including Los Angeles. Mm. Uh, Florida is in, in a lot of trouble and New York City, of course, is in trouble too. You didn't have to bring LA into this. I'm sorry. I just got here. I'm really I'm enjoying it. But you know, as far as the pandemic goes, I don't know if anybody saw the normal heart on HBO. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. look what happened there when the AIDS virus came about and people just were dying and dying mm. and watched each other dying and there was nothing they could do about it. And that's just a little microcosm of, of what can happen with all these viruses. Yeah, that so, that's what is, yeah. so that's actually a perfect segue to my next <coughs> question, which is- I'm your segue which, master. You, you've yeah. been very honest today. <laughs> um, which do you fear more, the ones that we can't control or the ones that we can? Because something like nuclear war, I mean, we, we invented nukes. So we've had like we've had our hand in some of this stuff. Some of it, if an asteroid comes, is you know we can try to stop it, but it doesn't have something to do with something that we did here. Which one do you fear will, would happen first, or do you fear one more? Or is it something about humanity? Like we want to destroy ourselves, so we build nukes all over the place, and guess what? You build shit to use it. That's well, pretty much how that, it works, right? The things that you can't control, 
you can't control. Right. So like why even why be stress over it? Yeah. You know, the things that, it's always the things that per personally for me that you can control that give me more stress. Yeah. yeah. Because I feel like, oh, I should be able to do something about this. Why aren't I doing something about this? Yeah, and yeah. I, do, I do think that the, the, the most, via, where we're going in to see the most problems is gonna be in what, what happens with our climate. Uh, it is gonna be the threat of a nuclear war. And then the third one is artificial intelligence, which I think is something that um, people don't, aren't as worried as they should be about we're doing what's it every with week here. I am you a mean that they're, that they're going to like yes. take over and they're well, going to turn on us, like Hal? Yeah, well, like Hal, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. We don't know. I, I, we don't know what's going to happen when artificial intelligence happens, which is coming up in, right. in a few decades. But right. uh, you know, for people out there, there are a lot of people who are uh, uh, optimistic about it, like Ray Kurzweil, right. and then there are people who are scared about it. it makes, yeah. Well, it no makes wonder sense. Ray Kurzweil is optimistic. He's going to be controlling the whole damn thing <laughs> until it turns on him and kills him. Well, it uh, makes sense. Any kind of advances that we make ultimately can end up destroying us. I mean, you look at all the advances that we have. Yeah. yeah. So, Air final thought on this: Will uh, does the government? Do you think the government has plans? For any of these, do, we, do they really have contingencies for any of these things? Well, if you saw their incredible response to both Katrina and Hurricane <laughs> Sandy, I'm sure that they <laughs> really? are very prepared for whatever's coming. Yeah, what do you think? You think they have, uh, is there a file somewhere? You know, like oh, we don't God. know everything as you alluded to uh, earlier. I, I, I can't even, I'm sorry. Is it's, there a I pandemic know it's not file? I but I have no idea. <laughs> no idea? Nothing? No, I really don't know. It's like, who knows? I mean, I can barely handle like like all the things that we think they're handling, and then there's also other files in the back. I mean, I, I can't even fathom it. I'm sorry. That's exactly why I'm doing this show, folks, because we don't know everything. We don't know. So it's fun to talk about it. <laughs>